trackers. The galaxy's most unpredictable Star Trek podcast. So, coming at you from Idaho, New York, and live from the Grand Rapids Comic Con Spring Play in the Calvary Expo Center in Calvary, Michigan. Uh, this is TrekCast, the Galaxy's Most Unpredictable Star Trek podcast. Uh, today, we're going to be doing uh, talking about episode three of season five of uh, Star Trek, what is it, Discovery? Uh, we've also yes. got uh, Star Trek news, your listener <laughs> feedback. Uh, I'm Scott, and uh, with me are the heart and the soul of TrekCast, Daniel Reyes and Dan Lombardo. Am I the, am I the heart or the soul? I, I'm, I'm never going to say. I mean, that, that way I, I, I'm not you at, you know, like I'm picking heart. favorites. <laughs> I can't dance, so I'm definitely not the soul. <laughs> okay, I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> You're gonna leave that up to Daniel then. Daniel, so by, def- by default, by default, I'm the heart. By default, you're the soul. Hey, Sorry, I'm distracted so. by. There's a dog, a really cute dog outside that's like rolling around okay? the grass. It, yeah, no, he's, he fine. Okay. he's absolutely right. fine. He's enjoying right. life. So, right. um, in fact, I'm gonna show you. He's he's right out there, just oh, enjoying yeah. life. Yeah, there best he is. Doggy life. Hey, puppy. There he is. Yep. Oh, there Hi. Oh. Hi. Oh, he's coming. Oh, up. wow, he's coming out. Oh. Yeah. Let him in. He to Let him in. Oh, yeah. I'm sure the cod would love that. <laughs> uh, so, I've got nice. my. Uh, I got this signed by nice. Nana visitor. It's pronounced uh, Nana, like Mama Nana, which she has a Instagram. Uh, yeah. That does. I follow. Yeah. So it's kind of cool. So. So y- you got to meet her. I did. I did. Lovely lady. Um, we, we talked a little bit. I, I told her that I did a podcast. I, I said that I co-hosted and uh, we have a really great uh, team and, and we always talk uh, fondly about her and all, a bunch of other BS. And uh, no, she was she was great. She was lovely. Uh, awesome. We went to take a picture and I, I do that thing when I'm around members of the opposite sex and we take a photo together or whatever. I always mm-hmm. sort of put my hand sort of in front of me so I'm not intruding on their space and she came up to me and she's like um to do it do it do a selfie and she goes uh she kind of looks at me and she goes is it all right if i put my arm around you and i'm like yeah if it's okay if i put my arm around you <laughs> so, yeah. so she was just a delight so i so it was, told her so I was, it was forward to this. It was, oh yeah uh, so it was mirror it was uh it was mirror, the non-visitor, the hypersexualized. Uh, right. She came yep. on to you. That's what you're telling us. It, that's what I'm telling you. That's really what I'm telling you. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yep. Nice. <laughs> that's awesome, man. Yeah. 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 Good times. I also yeah. uh, chatted with the guys from uh, uh, the USS Grand Petoskey. Uh, okay. They are a member of the Star Trek International fan club. Um, oh, okay. So I, I uh, told them I'd give them a shout out and uh, definitely... Uh, go check them out, uh, sti.org. And uh, if you're in the Grand Rapids or Southwest Michigan area, uh, look up the USS Grand Petoskey. They've got a cool starship. Theirs is the refit of the Galaxy class. So it's got the third nacelle and the weapon of mass destruction on oh, wow. it. And so, <laughs> yeah, cool. very cool people. Ran into the uh, Kalamazoo Ghostbusters again. Nice. Um, very cool guys. Uh, they actually went to a, a buddy of mine. Eric owns a, a small movie theater uh, in the oh. town next to mine, and they played uh, Ghostbusters Friday night. And the Council of Ghostbusters showed up to that and oh, had nice. a little little thing. So yeah, yeah, very cool. Right on. A lot of stuff going on here. It's it's a basically a mini version of the one I went to uh, in Grand at Grand Rapids Grand Rapids actual. Okay. So okay. so the story behind that, real quick, is the reason why it's the Grand Rapids Comic Con in Kalamazoo is a few years ago they were doing it at a what's called the Delta Plex in Grand Rapids they tore the Delta Plex down and they went moved to the DeVos place well the DeVos place wasn't ready for their comic con at that time because mm. they were still sort of revamping and the Kalamazoo Expo Center in Kalamazoo said we've got a facility you can use temp, you know just this year and mm. they did that i think 3 years ago and it was such a success that they said you know what we're going to do a satellite comic con every year in Kalamazoo mm. so oh, wow. yeah 
So it's kind of like how the the New York Giants play in New Jersey. It's right. exactly <laughs> that. In fact, I couldn't think of a per- more perfect analogy. Absolutely. Dan, what, uh, what Star Trek celebrity did you meet today? What Star Trek celebrity did I meet? Yeah. Today? Well, because Scott did, so clearly we all had to. Oh, uh, yeah. Come on. Let me, step let me up, think. Step up your game, man. Yeah. Come on now. Wow. <laughs> Getting called out on the show. Wow. Um, uh, nobody. Yeah. Me I got nothing. I got nothing. Got nothing huh? yeah. I got nothing. Oh boy, that's a special boy. Well, I'll start. St- I'll stop talking now before Dan calls me out and trying to take the show over. Just name dropping. Just. <laughs> no, I also met a script supervisor for Next Generation yeah. Deep Space Nine and Voyager oh, right on. on Friday, but you know, no biggie. Yeah, no biggie. Oh, that's Star just... Trek. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. I misheard you. No, uh, Patrick Stewart and Jonathan Frakes uh, were just by for tea and scones. For, uh, for yeah. breakfasts, but they left yeah. right right before the show. No, yeah. no biggie. <laughs> I, I, one one more quick story I want to share. I, I said that I I had this. I had her sign it. Uh, Armin Shimmerman uh, signed this for a friend of mine back in the late '90s, and she, and my friend Aaron, she gave this uh, signed photo to me, and she uh, I asked her, hey, do you mind if I have you know uh, Nanav uh, sign it? She's like, absolutely. And so I, I showed it to. Uh, Ms. Visitor, and uh, I told her, I said, uh, you know, she I said had... that she said that one's a fake. Yeah, yeah she, she did. Yeah, she, she called it out. She's like, I can't authenticate that. She goes, you know, you need to keep this going. You need to have everybody sign it. I said, yeah, I know. And I said, you know, it's kind of sad that I'll never be able to get Renee to sign it. And she goes, yes, that was that was a very sad time. She goes, and you're also not going to be able to get Avery to sign it. And I said, oh, oh yeah. And she said, yeah, he doesn't. Uh, he's not she was she was searching for the word yeah <laughs> and uh, i i know she probably wanted to say you know Something out of else. it crazy yeah <laughs> but uh, he doesn't he doesn't make he's, public appearances he's he's residing in the celestial temple full time <laughs> yes yep <laughs> not to make light of yeah. uh whatever's going him, on with him i saw him about 15 years ago and he was uh quickly moving in that direction mm-hmm. so I mean, if you yeah. watch the if you watch the documentary where he's sitting at the piano with uh, with William Shatner, he's yeah. moving in that direction. Yeah, uh, awaiting game wants to know: Does Avery Brooks attend cons these days? I don't think I, so. I don't. No, think he, does. he does not. He yeah. does not. Yeah, that would be a big deal if he did, but no. Oh yeah. Yeah. All right, uh, Dan. How was your week? My week. Um, yeah. Yeah. It was. It was okay. <laughs> without saying too much uh um, yeah there was some there was some crop rotation at work some people were moved around to oh, dif- yeah. different different positions and uh i wasn't moved mm-hmm. but um you know i continue to supervise the unit that i supervised last week except i now supervise someone else's unit as well oh. so basically overnight <laughs> Space overnight, Force is doing a little consolidating, huh? Yes. Overnight, my 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 responsibility uh, pretty much doubled. My right. uh, my pay and benefits did not double with it. Right. Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah. So yeah. twice the work, twice the stress. Same old amount of pay. You know yep. it. You know yep. it. It's kind of like when I went from guest host to full time host. That's right. It's exactly. It's Same exactly payload. like that. That's right. exactly like that. Yeah. Yes. It's such an apt analogy, right? There. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> that's that's two. That's two analogies today. They're just right on the head. Yep. Right on the nose. Yep. Yeah. How about you, Daniel? Oh, um, I had to fix the website. For those of you who didn't <laughs> notice, it went down for like a full day. Yeah. Yeah. It was just some technical snafus, but we finally got it up and running. So okay. that's cool. Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh, um, A Wolf wants to know, Scott, are you still at the con? And if so, uh, any other panels you plan on seeing today? Uh, yes, it's a good question. I will be going to uh, uh, Nana Visitors uh, panel oh, at, yes. uh, at twelve forty-five Eastern time. You'll so be I'm a looking visitor forward to that. Her panel. I will be a visitor at Visitors panel. Are you going to ask her any questions? <laughs> What's that? Are you going to ask her any questions? I'm going to ask her the. I'm going to ask her what I've decided is going to be the the new, uh, uh, Trekcast question, uh, which is the same question that I asked last time. 
Terry Farrell. Is a hot dog a sandwich? That, and I'm going to ask about, well, last time I asked, uh, a year ago, I asked Terry Farrell and Jeffrey Combs, Mm -hmm. you know, the the question that you had suggested, Daniel, which was, had anybody ever, you know, put on like a dinner party or potluck or whatever, and who was the best cook? And in that, the answer to that question, uh, Nana's name came up. Right. And so I'm going to mention that when I go up and ask a question. You should ask her what she made. Yes. Yes. Yeah. That's a good idea. So see the see the problem with that is that's a normal question and you can't ask a normal question in the voice. <laughs> no, a normal question. I'm sure she's been asked a thousand times. You know, what's it like working with Avery Brooks? It, yeah. And this is Daniel came was the one who who uh, you know sort of gave me this idea about not asking a question that's you know what's it like to work with Avery Brooks and yeah, you know yeah. in, in season two episode four the quantum singularity was yeah. you know don't uh, yeah the everybody can ask that. <laughs> Yeah, what did they do exactly? <laughs> right, exactly. So, yeah, I think I think a, a perennial question can be, um, you know, about food. Okay, cool. So, oh, Gerald says, uh, "What do you guys think the weird stuff that Star Trek actors have had to sign?" Oh man, I imagine all sorts of different things. Wow, that I should I have asked her that when she signed right? my picture. Like I've seen people like they'll get their arms signed and then go get yeah. that tattooed. Yeah, like that's that's yeah. yeah. That's that's weird. Yeah. Well, if I ever see you guys again in person, um, I'm gonna have you sign sign my bicep and uh, immediately go get it tattooed. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do like finger paint on my hand and I'll put it like a like a paw print right there on there. That's great. That's what yeah. I'll do. Yeah. I'm gonna sign my name like I'm a four year old. Like my there arms are back backwards. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Write, That's great. I'm gonna write track cast underneath, but I'm gonna write it like track, track cast, <laughs> track cast. <laughs> nice, nice. That's good. Uh, um, well, we're already quite a few in, so we should probably get to the news. Cool. Let's do it. Do it. Star Trek news. All right. So our first news story comes to us from Variety, and we got some good news and we got some bad news. This has been quite making the buzz all around the internet. Strange New World has been picked up for a fourth season. Yay. But sadly, Lower Decks will conclude with season five. Boo. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, I don't get it. <laughs> yeah. I have seen some debate as to whether this means just Lower Decks is just over and they're just done, or were they canceled? And the reality is they were canceled. So. Yeah. I had a conversation with the, the guys at the Star Trek booth. Uh, just a little while ago about that and things are different now than they were before you know yeah. you're not you're just not going to get 179 episodes you're not going to get uh seven seasons um in in yeah. the world of streaming it's do your thing and move on so yeah you know what, but right on the wrong. other hand on the other hand the simpsons is in like season right 37 or They're something grandfathered and, in. Fa- and, CIS and grandfathered fam- family, in. family guy is is in season 25 or right or, or but what's whatever. the difference between all three of those and new star trek they're on so, they're not i mean they're both streaming and on t- terrestrial television i i know this i know like once a show hits a certain length i think it's three years there's certain things that kicked in because of the guild that yeah the uh, you know people start making more money and then at, the longer it goes, the more things kick in, right? Yeah, it, that's why Disney cha- and Nickelodeon, they changed the name of the show after three or four after seasons. Three, yeah, I was going to say, so, same thing with, uh, what is that, Bosch? I guess it's an Amazon Prime show. Mm-hmm. They keep rechanging the name of the show for that same reason. Because then technically it's a new show. Okay, so can we get Middle Decks? <laughs> why not? As, as they get promoted, it makes kind yeah. of sense. Yeah, they get yeah. promoted. I've heard that. I've heard that theory. Let's just do middle decks, or you know, they, they yeah. go on a deck thirteen. Yeah, yeah, something like that. But yeah, uh, we did get a we did get a a comment from Jack Quaid on his social media on his Instagram, uh, saying that you know he would love to play Boimler for seventeen years plus. He loves the character. He loves being part of Star Trek. Uh, they are hoping to find a new home, so they're going to try. But you know, that's not a guarantee. So they need to do a live action uh crossover again uh with the 25th century 
Mm-hmm. And I just, I need an episode of him and Barkley together. Oh, yeah. I don't, I don't care what they're doing. Yeah. I don't care. I yeah. don't care what they're doing. They could be helping Barkley's mom move into a new apartment. I don't care. Yeah. Just, <laughs> you know, I need to see oh. that. Or he's yeah. like, oh, great Uncle Barkley. So good to see you. It, it's funny. Like, I looked at, at uh, some of the official Star Trek accounts that were announcing this change. And almost universally, it was, that's cool. Uh, lo- Strange New Worlds is continuing, but give us our lower decks. So we love lower decks. It can't, it cannot cost that much that this is an issue. Like, yeah. You know. So you know what I, you know what I find interesting? Um, how many seasons of lower decks? Is five. This? This is five. Five. Cool. five. Yeah. Yeah. How many seasons of discovery? Five. Interesting. That's a new normal. Interesting. Yeah. Does that mean low, uh, strange new worlds only get to five and then we're done? No, no, I think, um, I, I think, think we'll be lucky to low, get five. Lower decks, lower decks is a sleeper hit, uh, which doesn't cost anything to produce. Mm-hmm. Uh, Discovery is super expensive and only half well received, and they went mm-hmm. the same amount of time because uh, people wanted Discovery to succeed yeah it's not as popular yeah. as no it's not they, not at all they no. want it they want us to believe it's yeah just not. no yeah it's not yeah but um yeah so that that's what's going on with with lower decks uh also that was announced this week we are uh stop me if you heard this before we're getting a new star trek movie <laughs> and uh it's going to be different this time it's going to be yeah. an origin film for the oh, Federation or Starfleet, I don't know, whatever. It's set to be um, taking place decades before the 2009 film. I believe this was a show we already had called Enterprise. Yeah, um, yeah a prequel show to the original series era. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Right? Now, now, if they throw a curveball and we get a Star Trek Enterprise movie that ties up those loose ends um i'd be down with that but they'll never I, do it because i, I, I don't, don't think we want it i don't th- i don't yeah exactly <laughs> i don't think that's what we're gonna get yeah. uh the the film will be directed by toby hayes who um Ains, who directed uh some episodes of andor and then the script will be written by uh seth graham smith so there you go I'm sure this will change five different times before anything happens. What's Scott Bakula doing right now? He's not doing NCIS. I've seen him doing stuff with horses, like just petting horses and hanging <laughs> okay. out. Okay, so <laughs> you know, you pet how, horses. Yeah. How 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 old was he during Enterprise? How old is he now? Let's set the series that many years after Enterprise. At least have him be part of the story as an admiral. Show yeah. some of those NX01 refit type ships because that's what would make sense. That's mm-hmm. what we want, yeah. and that's probably why they're not going to do it. Yeah. A, a waiting game wants to know, are they retconning Enterprise, or will this feature uh, Captain Archer? We don't know. We we honestly do not know. I imagine it's going to be a retcon, just, and not even at the Enterprise crew. It'll just wipe Enterprise away, and it'll be its own thing. Uh, well, they can't they use the excuse play. of the Kelvin timeline, because it takes place right. before the Kelvin timeline. Right. Yeah. Right. That's the other problem. So... Yeah, Enterprise was the only show that was in both timelines. So, yep. yeah. Mm. All right, and then our next news story comes to us from PC Gamer. Uh, for those of you who are big Dungeons and Dragons fans, you're in luck. Captain Riker is going to be hanging out and playing some D and D later this week on Twitch. I believe it's on Wednesday. Uh, it, it says here in the article. Uh, yeah. Oh, sorry. Saturday. Uh, next Saturday, April twentieth. Him, uh, he will be playing D and D with some Star Trek actors, including uh, Captain Liam Shaw. Will be there as well. Todd, no. Todd Stadwick. No, and, uh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Roll for a lot defense. of D and D fans here at the Comic Con. <laughs> I imagine so. Uh, you know, I've only played like twice, and yeah, it's fine. Um, in fact, I think there's a bit in the game room. There's a game going on now. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, so that'll be it live on Twitch. It's uh, it's a charity fundraiser, so that'll be cool to kind of watch them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then our last news story comes to us 
from Space News, and we finally have an answer to the age-old debate, which is better, Star Trek or Star Wars, <laughs> took place at the 39th Space Disponium. Uh, it was judged by former NASA Administrator Jim uh, Biderstein, Bridenstine. Um, we had two teams, Team Star Trek and Team Star Wars. The argument was which was better, uh, Star Trek's, you know, hopeful depictions of the future or Star Wars or is Star Wars capturing the hero's struggle. And after some rounds of debates, it was deemed that Star Wars was better. Well, I guess, uh, you know, we're, well, they're wrong, but that's fine. Right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Um, uh, you know what they say, opinions are like, uh, a holes. Everybody's got one. I will say this. And most of them stink. <laughs> In the story, they, they put it up on, on X, Twitter, whatever. And Star Trek is winning the, the poll there. So people say that Star Trek is better than Star Wars over on social media. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm kind of just tired of that debate. Me too. They're not the same thing. No, they're not, not even, even. They're not even similar. Yeah. Well, I hate to oh. quote Alex Kurtzman, but he's the one that said, you know, uh, when they were making the JJ movies, uh, he said, uh, you know, Star Wars was like rock and roll and Star Trek was like classical music, you know, which is better that you don't compare rock and roll with classical music. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're both music. Yeah. They're both music. But... Yeah, absolutely. But yeah, so that's the news stories. So. All right. All right. Cool. Well, then let's get into the main topic. Fun will now commence. So our main topic is we're going to review the third episode of Star Trek Discovery Season 5. Um, what was it called, Scott? I know you, you had some <laughs> issues with the title. <laughs> I had to think about what it was about for a while. I'm like, oh yeah, it's the Trill episode. Yeah. Oh, ja, ja, Janal. 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 Yeah, I had a little kerfuffle on my uh, on my quick reaction where I said Janal was mm -hmm. the name of the ritual in which the uh, former Trill host can interact with a new Trill host via a yeah. uh, sec uh, another person. And, and I that was, was corrected clearly by somebody. wrong. Well, I was corrected and they said no. Janal or mm -hmm. Janal uh, Jadal or Jan uh, however you pronounce it, he he actually spelled it wrong. The person who corrected me, and we had a fun little interaction. He's cool. And this this is Emperor Palpatine. Is that who this? Yes, is? that's right. That's Emperor right. Palpatine. Emperor Palpatine touched heads, and then they were able to communicate with one of the Trill's yeah. past lives. Yeah, Janal, not Jindal, but Janal is actually the name of the former mm -hmm. host. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And so, uh, according to the official uh, logline. On Trill, Captain Burnham, Book, and Colbert must pass a dangerous test to prove themselves worthy of the next clue. Adira reconnects with Gray, and Saru's first day as an ambassador is complicated by his engagement to Tarin. Yeah. Saru, uh, Saru slept on the couch last night. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> Taiji, here's my review. It was crap. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I mentioned in, in my quick reaction that I felt like this is the closest thing to a filler episode that we've gotten so far. And we're oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So I think we started something last year. Um, just on the fly, we started this thing. Say, you know, say one good thing. Yeah. Ab about the episode. Yeah. And and I and I think we should start doing that. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Because because overwhelmingly i'm um, you know not enjoying this but i can still pick out things to be positive about and i'm just going to do mine right now uh okay. wilson cruz's acting ability in this episode i believed he was a different person mm -hmm. watching watching him. yep yeah so kudos Kudos to him. Yeah. He's a great yeah. actor. Yeah. 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 They actually mentioned that on the uh, Will Wheaton show. 
Uh, he was, oh he, yeah, I didn't, uh, I didn't. Oh sorry, that's kind of. I didn't mean to step on your. No no no, it's fine. Video. I didn't watch it. I no no no, okay. watch it. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Wilson Wilson Cruz was on, uh, and he talked about the challenges of uh, you know he wanted to play it uh, differently than 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 Dr. Culver. So you know, different voice, but it wasn't just a different voice. He had a different swagger. He had a yep. Uh, yep. You know, it's the attitude language. was different. But yeah, yeah, uh, absolutely, his acting ability. Uh, was on mm -hmm. point in this episode yeah absolutely so i said my one positive thing the next 34 minutes are for you guys go ahead <laughs> um i liked the consistency <laughs> um they obviously watched a couple of deep space nine episodes before writing this one so you know i like the um the uh, symbiotes the symbiotes and the um the, the ritual and, and and that kind of thing although the ritual wasn't designed uh, for what they did, the ritual was designed as a uh, a way for the new host to sort of say goodbye in person to the old right. hosts. Right. So, but I understand that they, you know, they could use this ritual to, you know, talk to that host and get some information from that host. Although, why you couldn't just talk to the new host, mm. you know? Yeah. Um, is that your is that your thing that you like then? The, the... Yeah, that that <laughs> thinly veiled <laughs> compliment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let's see. For me, oh, go back a couple pictures. Yeah, uh, the, I guess one big positive, unless you were going to talk about Tilly. Oh no no yeah, let me go to Tilly. I yeah. I loved her interaction with the uh, okay with Commander uh, Jackass. Uh, what did you love about it? Who apparently is a commander. I I yes. was wrong. Yep. I was wrong. I thought he was being uh, a, a first officer with the rank As of captain, captain, just yeah. like Saru. But apparently, he got demoted. He got demoted, and I I love Tilly's, uh, you know, kind of standing up for the crew and and mm -hmm. uh, you know, kind of telling him off a little bit. Yeah, you know, which is you know that's that's risky for a lieutenant. It's true. That's true. But she's also a lieutenant who is uh, a visitor on the ship right now she is not a regular member of the crew so she is right. outside of his direct chain of command so yeah you know i'm not saying it, it couldn't have ramifications for her later on but mm -hmm. you know it's not her boss she's right. working somewhere else this week yeah. then, then she goes back to academy yeah 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 then she goes back to a show nobody asked for that's right <laughs> oh my god the comments about that oh my god yeah, yeah. yeah. um Let's see, for me, you know, I, I did like the dynamic with, with Saru and, and his fiance. I thought that was hilarious. The the political intrigue going on there that yeah. um, that uh I, apparently there is a group of Vulcans who are the Vulcan purists and and they are not happy that she is with somebody who is not Vulcan. And so that their relationship could affect them politically, um, for her. I think they need to review their Vulcan edict. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. Um, mm. Infinite diversity and infinite combinations. Indeed. Mm. Indeed. But uh, yeah, that whole dynamic was pretty fun. Uh, I also did like, I'll give a second bonus. I like the snake dude. Just chilling there. Cobra he, commander or whatever he was. He Cobra is. Cobra commander. <laughs> um, We've seen him before. They've been on. They were in early episodes of TNG, if I'm yeah. not mistaken. Because I'm pretty sure I have a an action figure of uh, one of those guys. Yeah, like you do. <laughs> I just like that they're that they're doing basically an Indiana Jones plotline, and they brought in a snake, <laughs> okay. which would not be you know Indy would not be happy about that. Yeah. So I thought that yeah. was cool. Yeah. Indy would also be the first one to say, "We have personal transporters. Why aren't we just beaming over there? Why are right. we walking? Why are we walking through this canyon?" Yeah. <sighs> well, they did say that he just wouldn't give them the coordinates. Okay, but even though okay, so we're walking in that direction. <laughs> yeah, that general direction. Let's just, hopscotch our let's, way just there. let's just let's just beam a hundred yards in that direction. Right. Instead of taking all day for this. Right. I don't know. Saru Sp got spot blocked. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! 
Nice. Snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? <laughs> nice. So we had a, I don't know if he was the bartender. He was pouring a drink. He was also wearing a Starfleet uniform. Right. But we, but we saw Ferengi uh, pouring a, a drink of what looked like Sluggo Cola. That's right. So, so it didn't just nice. look like Sluggo Cola. I paused it and yeah, it, was it was Sluggo Cola. Yeah. <laughs> so it's nice to see that, that, you know, whether whether it's Pepsi, Coca Cola, McDonald's, whatever, they're going to survive into the thirty yeah. second yep. century. Those those trademarked uh, products. <laughs> that, I yeah, mean, that was what, that was a fun callback. Yeah, for sure, that was cool. So, uh, do you think it's one of those things where, because you know, the way they describe Sluggo Cola is like slimy, you know, slug juice. Um, right. Do you think? It, it it was there because this was a Ferengi drinking it, or do you think Sluggo Cola in the 32nd century is like sushi is now, where 50 years ago if you told an American about sushi they would they would recoil, but mm -hmm. uh, now it's kind of an accepted thing that that most people eat or yeah. have tried. So do you think That's there's there's earthlings, uh, there, there's Terrans walking around drinking, slugging one back, slugging back a sluggo cola. Okay, uh, let me answer first. And can uh, I get a can I get a jacket <laughs> sluggo, please? <laughs> I think the answer is no. I think it's one of two answers. Warning! Warning! Nerd alert! Nerd alert! How does that get a nerd alert? <laughs> <laughs> you talk about sluggo cola. I mean, come on. Um, I think that you know. Here and now, in, in our reality, we have uh, Romulan Ale beer. Is it Romulan Ale? No, it's not. It's it's beer. It's been modified to, yeah. you know, so that humans can consume it. Same thing with, you can buy Klingon blood wine online. Um, but it's probably not fermented, you know, the fermented blood of, you know, Targ. Oh, no, our oh, no it's the blood like of your enemies. That's right. It says one hundred percent blood of your. If your enemy is is a Napa Valley grape, then yeah, I suppose <laughs> that's true. So I think it's a ver I think it's like a sluggo. I mean, it can't. Yeah, I think it's like a humanized version of it. Mm. Probably, probably. Maybe um, it's both. Maybe they got both. Maybe they maybe got sluggo root cola, and they got sluggo cola the you know the original. I was gonna say maybe it's like root beer. You know, first you hate it, but then you keep keep drinking it and. <laughs> then the more you drink it. Love it, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's just one of those things. I wouldn't be surprised if the Frankie put some sort of addictive chemicals into it. Of course. <laughs> now you just have to have your Sluggo. Sluggo Cola. Now with fentanyl. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, original cocaine laced uh, Sluggo. Yeah. 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 So what's yeah. going on with these two? They broke they, up. They broke up. Why? They, I, I, because I, the having them, them together wouldn't further either one of their stories. Uh, yeah. Because it's the fifth season, so why not? I guess. <laughs> it's going to end. Might as well. I don't think a lot of people are digging the Trills character. Um, and, you know, uh, he doesn't need to be part of the story. He's doing his yeah. thing on, yeah. on Trill. Well, and they and, basically have written him out already, so might as well just yeah. oh, break him up. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, yeah. Well, Man, I can't remember what what's their name. Um, the short haired Adira. Ray? Adira, yeah. Uh, I think oh, Adira's Adira. character is a little more. Um, I don't know. When when you have two characters, one's like confident and kind of sure of themselves, and the other one's a little, you know, not. I think the 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 one that's not is a little more interesting to tell a story about. You know, this this show just not to keep dumping on discovery but it just it does not uh it doesn't keep my attention yeah like at all i just rewatched this series over the last few weeks and i'm watching this the other night and i had to think for a minute wait which one of them has the slug in their belly <laughs> at this point yeah you know like i had forgotten that great they did bounce is... it around a little bit it's, yeah. Well, it bounced around, and then I'm like, "Oh yeah, yeah, no, 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 Gray's a robot, right? Yeah, Gray's right. a synth. Oh, yeah. all of that. 
<laughs> just watched oh, that. You did, yeah, ago. you and I just watched and, that. And, and I was and having the same thing. Just, yeah. yeah. All of it's just gone. Yeah. So can we cash in the second half of this season and get like another half a season of Lower Decks? Is I, that I possible? Would, I would hope so. Can I'd vote get, for that. Can we get <laughs> yeah. credit? Can we get a store credit, sir? Yeah, I'd vote I'll for that. I'll pick something out later. Just give me a store credit. Cool. <sighs> uh, Paul says, I don't even watch anymore. I don't even get the torrents. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, there, there were people in our group. He won't even watch group. it for free. <laughs> yeah. There were so many people who said they were going to cancel their Paramount subscriptions just because Lower Decks is going away. Yeah. It's crazy. We will see if people really do it. You know. You know what? You know what's funny. Um, I I I kind of like this idea of following up on this storyline with the uh-huh. the uh, what are we calling them? The progenitors. Oh yeah, yeah yeah yeah. And here, but here's the worst part. It doesn't have to be 800 years later to do right. this story. They could do this story in the 25th century. They could do right. it 35 years later, and the story would be exactly the same, except it would be in an era that everyone wants to see continued. It would have characters who were part of the original story because they're still around. Right. It just seems like another misstep. No, you're absolutely right. So, so my question was, though, this progenitor's device, what they think it is, how is it different from the Genesis device? Mm. Didn't they touch on that a little bit in the episode where they said, you know, it's got a great power to create. It would also have a great power to destroy. That's why it can't end up in the wrong hands. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, maybe it is. Maybe their seed spreading (laughs) thing was kind of like a (laughs) continue. Go ahead. Tell us. Tell us about the seed spreading thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah what are you doing spreading, at this spawn? <laughs> seed spreading Riker device is just as dangerous as a Genesis device. Mm-hmm. That's right. <laughs> they call it the Riker maneuver. <laughs> when they seed a yeah, planet. they do. <laughs> oh, Lord. We've lost Scott. <laughs> he's, he's broken. He's turned all red. Just like a it's like a long oh. sprinkler just going all around. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Daryl Genesis Device Plus. Yep. <laughs> the Genesis <Yeah>. Plus. <laughs> now with Riker seed spreading technology. Oh, God. There's going to be another Thomas, another Will. Just all oh, sorts. boy. Yeah. yeah. A lot of people in a whole civilization uh, changing their ways on how to mount a chair. Indeed. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> no, but that was just my question about it. Like, how is it different? Like, we've already had this technology or something close mm. to this. It doesn't seem like it's different. Yeah. Do you think they'll even mention the difference or not matter? Uh, it seems to me that some of know. these writers haven't seen previous versions of Star Trek. So. I mean, but they brought up the Genesis device in Picard. <laughs> in the in that Easter egg, it was there was like a miniature version of it. Yep. So, I don't know, man. And some of these are the same writers. Yeah, yeah. So, I guess it just depends on if they were sober or not. Right. Right. So, uh, don't drink and write, people. Or do. <laughs> or do drink and write. Yeah, what are the two? <laughs> yeah. Indeed. Um, but, yeah, so we got another episode next week. Uh, I, I don't have it up to tell you what the title will be. Um, but we're on our way to another clue. You know, national treasure continues in space. <laughs> so maybe I'm just lost. Yeah. What are these clues that they're looking for? Why are they gallivanting around looking for these? What, what are the things? There's like five things that, that have to fit together. Well, what are from, they? Yeah. From what I understand, it's like a map. They need okay. all the parts of the map, just like in Star Wars. Okay. What was that? The yeah, the Rise of Skywalker. She's like looking for that map. 
you know, it's going to suck where they find, like, the last episode, they find the fifth piece, they put it together, and it reprograms somebody's tricorder to emit a holographic message, and it's just, like, part two of yeah. the female female's message saying, oh, you found part two. Well, I just want this. This is a recipe for biscuits. <laughs> it's, Actually, we've been trying to reach you about your warranty. It's, <laughs> yeah. the same, it's the same recording. Yeah. Just, again... Oh, that you know, would suck. She's an I wonder, NBC stuck in I wonder if they'll bring back that actress. I know she's in her 80s right now, but um, and they have shown holographic footage of her. But you, right. you know, you know what always disappointed me is that that actress, that actress, her name is uh, I think it's Salam Jens. Yeah, we did. That actress, her name is I think it's pronounced Salam Jens. Okay. Yeah, and she is the same actress that played the female changeling on Deep Space right. Nine, yeah. and they look pretty much the same. So, and even in my twenties, they should have touched watching, on that. In watching Deep, Space, Deep Space, Nine. Space Nine, yeah, watching Deep Space Nine, uh, uh, you know, I made that connection and thought to myself, um, you know, are the founders the progenitors, or did the progenitors also make the founders? Was was that the first? species they created and that's why they look yeah like that and like they evolved into the founders well the, the founders did say they originally were solids right yeah, yeah. maybe there's something there and chasmus says that the that actress has died i uh, i thought i checked recently and i didn't think she was yeah. dead but i checked imdb which is not always super accurate with that kind yeah. of stuff or updated quickly yeah uh, i'm gonna look it up right now yeah, 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 I, I don't know what that device is that they're trying to build. Like, I think it's a map. Maybe it's a key. Like, y you build the map and then. But what's the end game? What's the end device? It seems like they're looking for the, is it, yeah, like you said before, the Genesis device. It's, it seems like they're trying to find a, a progenitor organic version of the Genesis device. I can't think of anything oh, else it would be. I'll, I'll show she, you what it's going to be at the end. Yeah, go ahead. She's yeah. she's eighty eight years old. And okay. She is still with us. Okay. Okay. Uh, because of how subtle they were with with we need to all be together and and be friends. That's what it's going to be at the very end. They're going to make it's friends good. with the Bonnie and Clyde group. They're going to work together to to find the the progenitor's device, and the magic will be friendship. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. That that that's the one thing that can terraform an enemy into a friend. And and destroy arguments and bring people together. That's that that's should be our Christmas power. card right there. Is our the face superimposed so over the, that? The power of friendship. The power, of, power of friendship. Yeah. Okay. With their powers combined. With their powers combined. Yeah. They are Captain Progenitor. That's right. And then, <laughs> and then we'll have a potluck, and we'll get Don yep. Torino come out, and he'll say it's all about family. Yep. And they'll drive off in their in their eclipses, and <laughs> yeah, it'll be great. Okay. How about uh, one thing I want to touch on too is they mentioned in the episode that the the worms only live eight hundred years. Yeah. So you know what that means? Much, I thought that they were means, pretty much immortal. Right. As but that means Jack is dead. Yeah. Hmm. I thought it was it was um, the the symbiote has to go to a new host within like a a, a short window. And if they don't, then the, the symbiote can die. Right, right, but I guess there's nothing to say that the symbiote, which is a, a is an organic being, right. just just like you know, they also have a lifespan. They're you know, right, yeah, automatic. and they and they also need to reproduce. So when does that happen? Right. Do they go? Do they go back in the pond between hosts? I hope to, so. To to do a little yeah. uh, because the alternative is gross. Put two. Uh, I mean, they either it, do it in the pond or they do it in a host. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like the host has two symbiotes for a little while. Oh, uh, like he's got uh, twins. It, yeah. It'd be best not to dwell on such thoughts, Danny. Dan, Dan <laughs> let's let's. Some things are better left to the imagination. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, all I'm saying is, they got to spread their seed as well. So yeah. You know. I mean, you're at like a dinner party at a buffet and all of a sudden, you know, your stomach just goes and you're like, oh, it's mating season sorry, for my, sorry. my yeah, twin they're, symbiotes. 
They're in the yeah. mood. I'm drinking all this sluggo <laughs> because, you know, I'm eating for two. <laughs> I mean, yeah. for three. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I do like that they made the the spots, you know, like like fingerprints, like they're yeah. all different. That that's an interesting development. That's cool. Yeah. So while we're while we're dwelling on uh, weird and uncomfortable to imagine trill things, yes. So I'm sure the first trill joining did not occur uh, via C-section, right? I was just thinking about that. So what's the point of entry for a natural? For a natural Well, joint? why don't you count with me all the possibilities, Dan? Uh -huh. Okay. I'll 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 uh I'll I'll put my finger up when you name one and let's see if we can get to about six or seven. I, I think uh I think everybody picked up what I put down. I don't yeah. think yeah. we need to yeah. go any further. Well, much like a much like a Romulan home. The real entrance is in the back. In the back. <laughs> That's what it is. Uh, A Wolf wants to know if Janet Reno ever, or uh, Jet Reno ever got her uh, her chips during her interview with Rainer. I, I hope she, later on she did. Yeah, I hope so. Maybe she's the, the best part of the show, so <laughs> yeah, she is. be able to get whatever the hell she wants. <laughs> I would love a show where she's the captain, just giving <laughs> shit to aliens. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, Daryl says it's a face hugger. That's, it's that's a face hugger. Yeah, okay. maybe. Mm. Do you see that uh, that that fan theory that the uh, the Paul Wraiths were the mirror universe uh, prophets? Huh. Hmm. I did not. Yeah, that's interesting. Okay, I, I like that idea. Okay. Yeah. Ask uh, Ask Nana. Yeah. Sure. Sure. She'll, yeah. be, she'll just like shrug and be like, "Of course." Yeah, yeah. They have, yeah of course. <laughs> Whatever. Dude. The power yeah. Again. yeah. yeah. Uh, what, what do you want them to be, sir? Then yeah. that's what they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm hoping for if since this will be the last season of Lower Decks, I'm hoping for Mirror Universe Lower Decks. That'd be fantastic. If they do like a one-off episode, like they always do, do it in the Mirror Universe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That'd be Love fantastic. Yeah. That would be cool. Oh, I just had an idea. We should do a mirror universe episode of Trek cast. <laughs> mm. <laughs> How would that go? We, we could have it coincide with the next, if they do another uh, mirror universe, uh, we could have it be like a segment. We could start the show as a uh, mirror universe Trek cast. Okay. And if they, we can have it coincide with like a, a, a mirror universe episode if they do one. Yeah, I, I see that Dan's gears are are turning. Oh, he is thinking. Well, you know, I already have facial hair, so how would yeah. I differentiate myself from? You would be saving cats. You, you, no, no, you'd have to shave the sides. You'd have to do. We'd have to do just yeah. goatees. No, I would do the Riker. They would just come off and one. Just, just, I would peel. I would peel them off. Peel right off. <laughs> oh wait, already. I like mirror trick cats. That's a great idea. That's right. That's why mirror you guys trick, hired me. You know. You know what mirror truck cast is? Uh, all the bumpers work. The timing is right. That's right. <laughs> Dan is fully, a diehard disco fan. It's fully scripted. That's right. Uh -huh. yep. The beards yep. come yep. off. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Daniel. Daniel's a, a, a gun-toting, Marlboro smoking. That's right. Uh, <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Cowboy I'll wear my Star Wars hat. shirt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll, have to, uh, I'll have to go get an affliction t shirt. You know? yep. yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. We may have to do this someday. That would be hilarious. <laughs> you know, it'd be a great April Fool's. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Yeah, there you go. go. Yeah. So. All right. Uh, All right. Anything, anything else we want to talk about this episode? episode or? Yeah, yeah. I, I think, I think we're we good. pretty much have said it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Daniel's suddenly a huge football fan. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Scott Weakbeard. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah. It's all patchy. I, I could either shave it off or I could just make it real, real short. Uh -huh. Oh, no, really thin. Do like the, like the color me bad, uh, dick in a box type. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah. 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 Well, I want to see like the cowboy, like the curled up. Uh, oh, okay. Twirl my mustache. Yeah. Mustache. Do that. 
It's a beard wax. Evil strong beard. <laughs> I like it. Everyone hates Paddington. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my son just said randomly. He's like, um, I want to see Paddington too. I'm like, okay. What? Yeah, my, my 12-year-old. Yeah. And something he said a week ago, and this his relationship to Star Trek is... He's yeah. watched uh, the the Nickelodeon one, but okay. he never watches the other ones. He's vaguely aware that I do a podcast. And yeah. He uh, out of the blue, he just looked at me and said, um, "I want to meet the guys from Trekcast." Oh wow! I'm like really? I'm like okay. Well, someday when we do a, another uh, in person meetup, I'm like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah. All right. Or maybe I'll have him uh, come on before we start recording. He's, yeah, he's a little go. bit shy. So. Which which part of him should I sign so that he can have it tattooed? Have it right. tattooed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, forearm. You know, 40 <laughs> years later, somebody's like, what's that? Oh, my dad used to sit in his van with a guy and, yeah. and talk about Star Trek. And that guy uh, wrote on my arm, so I had it tattooed. Well, no, he's going to say, oh, this is a tattoo of Dan Lombardo's signature. And he's like, the the, the executive producer of, you know, <laughs> Star Trek Strange New Worlds season, season yeah, 21. Yeah. Yep, yeah. that's him. The very one. The very one. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, uh, let's get to listener feedback then. We've got people waiting. So, listener feedback. Listener uh, feedback. Listener feedback. So, uh, ooh, ooh that was buttery and smooth. Line, but uh, thank quick, you. We did get a lot of feedback. I, I put on the social medias. How do you feel about Lower Decks getting canceled? Mm. And yeah, man, it is just people are not happy. Uh, Taryn, total BS. Uh, Dan said, don't talk to me. I'm pissed off. Um, yeah, people are not happy about this. So that is basically the prevailing sentiment all across social media, not just ours, but any like official Star Trek one. That's what I've seen as well. So, Can yeah. we just take a minute to acknowledge... Uh, Taryn's post in the group of the the full body uh, hair oh, dryer, yeah, 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 that that looks like the arch from the the holodeck. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. You know, since oh, Trekcast, yeah. Trekcast is a public group, people can people can you know share things to it. They can share things from it. They can comment on it, even though right, they're not part right. of the group. But you know, the admins we get a notice every time somebody tries to comment on one of these things, mm -hmm. and that post blew up. I was approving like a hundred comments a day on Same. That thing for yeah, like this three post. or four days, three or four days straight. Yeah. This yeah. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's, got, it's got like hundreds of comments, over 400 comments, yep. over 8,000 likes, yep. over 400 shares. I mean, this thing just went everywhere, man. I was just surprised by how many people yeah. recognized it as the arch from the holodeck you know yeah. I, would click, yeah. I would click on some of these people's profiles and look at them and they weren't you know they weren't straight up trek nerds they were like mm -hmm. regular people regular yeah. people in there just saying computer run program that's right so i thought that was it's it's just funny sometimes what blows up and goes viral it's like people oh, see I know star it. trek. what's that daniel it's almost like people see star trek just yes on. yes yeah yeah <laughs> all right let's bring on chaz because he's waiting so there he is. Hello. Hey. 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 It's well, so weird without the facial hair, man. I'm not used to it. I know. Yet. I'm regrowing it. So. Okay. All right. Just don't grow it too much. That's right. Yeah. Don't grow That's it right. too much. So, well, maybe I'm married, Chaz. So. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm maybe. strong beard. Because I have a beanie on. I don't have my hat on. So. That's true. I could That's be true. married, Chaz. So. Mm. You could be. Yeah, I like what it. What do you think what's, of the episode? What's the password? Yeah. Jordy sent me. <laughs> all right yeah go. there you go that's a deep cut that's an old that one. is a deep deep cut we've not brought that up in a long time no yeah well yeah. I, I saw somebody on the group trying to promote something oh, that's right. yeah. i was like they didn't say it you know yeah 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 because yeah, yeah. Yeah. you can see yeah. when they join the group and everything you're like oh you just joined the group couple days ago so yeah trying to promote something so so any for anyone out there who's newer sometimes if somebody pops in and, and uh uh they'll try to capitalize on the popularity of the That's group right. or the show and promote their own thing we'll sometimes ask them hey who sent you mm -hmm. and the answer mm -hmm. the answer is jordy sent me so Absolutely. feel free to 
feel free to use that. If there's one thing we if we like at uh, TrekCast, it's confronting each other and challenging <laughs> each other. <laughs> Say, you don't belong here. Get out. <laughs> Kicking them out. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. I love it. <laughs> I'm rewatching or I'm re-listening. I'm still re-listening to the the podcast, and I just got to the episode where uh, it was just after uh, we all met in Chicago. Oh, oh wow. really? So, yeah, yeah. It, I wish it's fun. Wild, I look at our numbers, right? It is wild how many people listen to all his past episodes. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, like all the time. It's it's kind of yeah. crazy. Mm. I probably need to do it. Well, the bad thing is you guys are reviewing Discovery. <laughs> <laughs> I might listen yeah. to the Mandalorian once. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. 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 My wife asked me, she goes, How many episode, people listen to Trekcast? Really. How big is this podcast? And I'm like, I I, I don't know, twelve, fifteen, at least. I don't know. Yeah. So, know. It's, it's the three of us plus Chaz is. Yeah. Ten, tens of people. Made more so, episodes than the originals. We're getting close if, if we yeah. have it. Yeah, I think yeah. You're, you're almost there. I mean, yeah. which is impressive. So yeah, because this has episode what Daniel, three ninety, three ninety. Yeah. I think they quit, but right there's one. supplementals. They get supplementals too. Oh, so like, okay. so those, yeah. yeah, yeah. But you guys are getting close. Yeah, you're doing it. I think number one is consistent like, too. You're you're not off for yeah. two years then come back. So <laughs> we'll go out for a week every now and then. <laughs> you're like, yeah. what happened to yeah. Trackcast? And all of a sudden, it's back on your feed again, like two years yeah. later. And it's, yeah. Oh wow! <laughs> they stop listening, and then after a year, they come back and they're like, who the Oh, it's this guy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, there was What's that. What's weird now is, is we get emails every now and then of people who will be like, oh, I like your show, and I went back. Who are those other guys? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, they're the OGs. They're the progenitors of this podcast. They're the TOS. They're the TOS. Yeah. 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 TOS. So what would that make me? Ooh, you're... Oh, then you went away. Go on. I'm sorry, I will never you know mention who myself you are? again. The irony of that you know, everybody just vanished for a second. <laughs> Daniel you, know just who, just... you know who you are? You are Ensign Rowe. You show up oh. in the okay. fourth or fifth season. You're around for a while. You become a series regular. But yeah. next season, you will betray us. Oh, you oh, will wow. betray us. You know, <laughs> when I first started, you, you kind of <laughs> likened me to war. And I think I like that one a little better. Yeah. I, I imagine one of these days he's going to take off his shirt and there's going to be a, a Stargate shirt underneath. Yeah, sorry, the same dog is yeah. back. Yeah. There's a yeah. dog outside and he's Another playing one with the grass. One? That's the same one. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, at least you're not broccoli. So. Ty J says you're going to sleep with Riker. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, if I was Ensign Rowe, I guess I would. But that's yeah. okay. I, did, I didn't remember who I was. Okay, that's fine. Your my your <laughs> wife might be jealous, so yeah, a little bit, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but this episode, uh, I called it trails and progenerators because yeah. spell check can't spell progenitors. So yeah, so and they're they're finding these clues way too easily. Like they, they can solve it and they know they can pinpoint it on the planet. Thank you, awaiting game. Yeah, yeah, I was like. I don't know. They they need something in between to make it more exciting because right now it's kind of this. This what, was definitely what do you a think the episode. final thing is going to be. Is it basically something that Genesis totally device, disappoints or? us that okay. Michael Burnham <laughs> has to destroy the device because it's going to ruin everything. So <gasps> realize what if the only the, what if the only safe place for this device is eight hundred years in the future? So they have to take the. De- oh wait a minute. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pack it, your it, bags, everyone. Is... We're going to the 40th century. Yeah. 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 What, well, it's what like, is... the, go ahead. Go ahead. They want the whole world to be at peace, right? The whole right. universe, so they can release this device. But now you're rebuilding the Federation and all these planets, and you're trying mm-hmm. to get everybody back together again. And I would say the world's unstable right now. Because, yeah, that's true. Because you're going to um, start up a war. You know, they even mentioned yeah. the brain, and they mentioned some of the other stuff. And you have this whole wedding that they're telegraphing that either the president or Saru is going to die at the wedding. So, 
something's going to happen at the wedding. Yeah. That's all I got to say. We, we had mentioned, uh, what, last episode or a couple of them back, that Saru was going to die. Mm-hmm. But now I'm wondering, will the president die? Yeah. I, I think she left. might. Yeah. Oh, that would be a horrible... And it could be one of those Vulcans that kills her, you know? Oh, hey, well, you know what? There might be a... the galactic barrier. <laughs> <laughs> what does God need with a spore drive? That's right. That's right. Hey, if she meets Shatner, <laughs> I'd give the episode oh, a couple points. So if they do, if they make Shatner. Shatner God, that'd be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man! Yeah, he's the giant I, face. You know, you mentioned the president dying of Navarre. I, I don't think that's going to happen, but it, it it does make me think they might have like a kidnapping uh, episode mm. uh, later on. Yeah. So that'll be a, and an then episode we get action that, through. that we're going to get. Yeah, action through. He's, he's oh. going to have his own, what is that, uh, Air Force One movie? I told you to get off my plane. <laughs> yeah. Get off my shuttle. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, somebody who wrote these episodes definitely watched The Mummy, uh, yeah. Indiana oh, Jones, sure. every every mystery oh, yeah. thing. It, it's going to be like the end of a, The Last Crusade where you see the knight with the chalice, and then she's going to have to find the chalice. Which <laughs> one should you drink? And then no. the mean so- <laughs> commander drinks it, and he dies because he wants all the power. And then... So late last year, we had the reports that Nicolas Cage really wanted to be in Star Trek, right? Oh, God. Oh, oh my oh, God. God. What please, if he's the face? Please, what if he's God? Please, please don't. Please no. Don't. No. I did. I could. Uh, I, 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 I like your idea. Yeah. <laughs> uh, a waiting game is asking about for continuity, if they still care about that. Doesn't the discovery have to be destroyed? Uh, no. Discovery no, has, has to, to survive. With- because there was a short the trek, there was yeah. a short trek that showed it in the future without the crew. That's so, right; it was abandoned. Yeah, yeah. And the so, world was all messed up too, because they had no idea what the Federation was or anything else. You remember? Yeah, yeah. Discovery is going to get destroyed at the end of this series, or they're going to find a way to bring in the mycelium, the, the mushroom network, um, as part of the storyline. Like, you know, maybe Scott, they need to put do me, the... Do me a favor. Say mycelial. My mushroom network. <laughs> <laughs> my, mycelial. Well, I love when someone mycelial. recognizes recognizes their own limitation and immediately yeah, right. adapts. Yeah. My, uh, my, my, the mushroom network. That's mycelial. Right. Mycelial. Connects everything. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Hey, if Scott can, you can. If Scott can, you can. <laughs> mycelial. <laughs> Scott. You know what's really funny? I, I, I don't know if we've, we've brought this up, but it seems like we have potentially. But you know, uh, Stamets on the show is named after a real life mycelial yep. uh, expert, Paul Stamets. Yep. He looks like a mushroom expert. Oh, 100% he does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so. Wow. Look at those yeah. mushrooms. Yeah. And, and he, he takes mushrooms too, so he's probably kind of yeah. out there. Ugh. He's, he's yeah. really tripped. He's tripped balls, guys. He's he's tripped. So. I bet. Pretty you sure the creators forgot uh, that too. You, you'll you'll see some weird stuff. So yeah, <laughs> do tell. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, I got a mushroom story. I can't tell it on here. Okay. Oh wow. Okay. It's Give us this offline. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably does. It's, it's yeah. It gets pretty All crazy. Right. So. <laughs> and that was the last well, time you guys want to bring up Chesbiz. Uh, what did Maul take at the end? Oh. Because remember, she goes up to... Uh, oh, Adira. Adira. Touches their arm. Yeah, she put a, she put a tracer yeah, on her. She put a spidey tracer. Okay. It's a yeah, spidey, spidey tracer. tracer. Yeah. 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 Uh, they had a clip it's from a, the next show on Apple, the Will Wheaton uh, show. It's an Apple AirTag. That's right. It's a new one. Yep. Yeah, I want to know like who's who's paying Maul and this other guy, and why are they so smart? Like somebody has to be paying them because they're they're I don't get why the Federation didn't just try to buy them off. Like, okay, yeah, give us this thing, we'll give you money, go away. Yeah, something. I mean, if all that they're motivated by money, just do that. Yeah, exactly. True. So it's like, what, what's motivating them to continue yeah. this quest? Yeah. 
something we don't know about Cleveland Booker. Probably. Yeah, the, the, there's there's a deeper connection yeah. with Booker. Yep. Maybe and she thinks she's gonna get back if she gets that device if it can bring back yeah. life. That's the only thing mm. I could think of. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, and what do you think of the giant fly or whatever they fought? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The super yeah. animal that can go invisible and the the cloaking uh, the cloaking yeah. dragon. Don't worry, I've left this cloaking dragon here for 800 years. Nobody on this planet has Listen, found it in you know 800 what? years. I grew up, uh, I grew up in a in a in a county adjacent to the one that uh-huh. I'm living in, and you know I only get back on that side of the river once every few months, right? Mm-hmm. And I'm constantly driving through there, going, "Oh, oh, they built that. Oh, they knocked." down the such and such oh there's a car wash here now yeah 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 and that's like eight weeks (laughs) not 800 years yeah you know the the idea that this completely undeveloped valley will still be a completely undeveloped valley and this stone will be right here for me to move this rock on top of it and take this thing come on yeah so you're saying no hikers nothing has been yeah exactly all all these years Like even yeah. the hiking trail, even squatters would stay there probably. So, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah that grown. creature was interesting. They talked yeah. about that on the Will Wheaton show too, and how you know oh, making yeah. that and reacting to it, and yeah. and they just kept telling the actors, uh, you know, look at this point up, and they the, the directors kept saying, no, no, look higher, look higher, it's taller, look higher. So yeah, yeah. yeah. So but, was it was it Lethal Weapon? Uh. Are we going on three or is it one, two, three, go? Was that Lethal Weapon? I think what? so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Was it? I yeah. I like that little interaction. I didn't. I didn't realize it was. Um, yeah. No. Oh, that's it. right. Yeah. Lethal I liked weapon. it in 1986 when it was Riggs and Murtaugh. But yeah. you know. <laughs> Riggs. I've yeah. Gone three or after three. But I do like when they let him be characters a little bit. You know. Mm-hmm. You know, you know what? You know what, that was another thing I did like about this episode is we got to learn a little bit about the crew and just some of their hobbies and yeah. just about them a little bit. That was well, you know, it's funny is you don't have Detmer or a Washakoon or, or whatever her name is. You yeah, have those two, and they've been on almost every episode, and you barely seen them this season. Right, right. That, Nielsen is gone. She went to the Voyager. Oh yeah. Oh, that's kinda, right. Yeah, yeah. Yep. yeah. What was the name of the lady that had the the thing in her mouth? The she stayed uh, with another like her alien people, but then in another episode yeah. she came back to to uh, uh, as a checks and balances for yeah uh, for Michael, and then she went back to whatever special ops thing she was doing. Right. Yeah. I wonder if they'll have her pop back in. Fast. I actually kind of like, like that character. I thought she was. Me too. Yeah, I thought it was a good yeah. character. Yeah. Bars, she was I, a bar I, I, Her and Ed, I, I really like Jet Reno. I think Jet Reno's hilarious. So, <laughs> yeah, they need to pay her whatever she's at. <laughs> finally sure building their on. characters in the last season, better late than oh, never. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Or right before <laughs> they die. <laughs> or right before they die. Yeah. Yep. I think they need to do a spinoff on Lower Deck. So, since so it's, it's ending, like keep the cartoon yeah. world, do a spinoff. Maybe they're Upper Deckers. So, do lower decks with <laughs> Spider Verse? <laughs> you can't call it. You can't, can't call it. Can't upper, call deckers. upper deckers. <laughs> that the next else. Nope. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I think we came up with a good idea of the show. Middle deckers. Yeah, middle yeah. deckers. The the lieutenants of the of whatever starship. Yeah, yeah. Because if, if they get a new ship, you know, it could be crappier than the Cerritos. That's I true. Have them all together, and they do mm. their own missions because now they're. You'd like to see an actual garbage scow. Yes. Why not? Nope. Like, why not? Yeah. <laughs> let's like let's let's do something fun. Let's do something. But I, I hope this next season of, of Lower Decks, like th- this is, I don't know that that one makes me mad because I actually like that show, and they shouldn't. I mean, you know what? Put that same crew in different different timelines in Star Trek and just different Lower Decks. Like now we have a TNG Lower Deck. Now we have a TOS Lower Deck crew. Yeah. That'd be great. Yeah. yeah. So. There's a lot they could do with it since it's animated. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, it's and, not like and, they have to rebuild and, the sets. 
What's funny about Lower Decks, it's the time period we all want to be in right now. Like, Star Trek, because it's after Next Gen, after yeah. DS9, uh, and everything else has been either far into the future or before we want to be in that time period after DS9. Uh, a waiting game wants to know how did Lower Decks do in terms of streaming. Seems popular to me, uh, with, especially with its response to canceling. Were people watching it? Yeah. I mean, it's, we don't have hard numbers, right? Because that's just streaming nowadays. You don't get numbers. Right. Um, but but it seemed I, popular. I think know? they need to syndicate these shows. Like, they yeah. they need to put them on Netflix and other I think that's what's or... happening. I think I think Paramount Plus is going to go away. Yeah, that's right. why they did it. it. Syndicate it. And, you know, other people will watch it. And see if they like it or not. So I think Netflix decision, will pick it up and they'll keep doing it just like they did with like Cobra Kai. Well, mm-hmm. I think the, the decision is based on uh can we sell this to another streamer? And for whatever mm-hmm. reason, I don't think they see lower decks as being profitable to sell to another streamer. Yeah. Which is sad. Or maybe they're gonna try. I mean, that's what Jack Quaid said. They're gonna I, I hope so. Home. So somebody yeah. needs to get the airplane out with the banner, fly over the studio, <laughs> save lower yeah. decks. All right. Yeah. Check the coffee right. account. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I bought swag, so all my money's on the the shirts and the hat. So there you go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. That's yeah. Like, next time I'll have to donate to the coffee account. So <laughs> awesome. There's some money in there pay for your streaming service so there you go thank you <laughs> thank your you bandwidth <laughs> however much uh, it costs any, a year <laughs> yeah anything else you want to bring up Chaz Biz? uh that's it i'm okay. i'm just happy to talk to you guys and hopefully yeah. next week we'll have a better episode and the season will not disappoint that's all i gotta say just please don't disappoint <laughs> us at the end yeah hopefully don't, don't put horses on the Enterprise on the saucer section, and they're running with horses on the saucer. Sh- oh section. yeah, like in Star Wars. Yeah, <laughs> don't, don't don't yeah. do that. Okay. Yeah. Don't make that mistake. Don't make Hopefully like a, a knife that somehow you can stand in this position, and the Death Star is right there, and it matches up, and you know. Right. The, perfectly. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Sure. You, like, you don't want to find out that uh, Michael Burnham's a clone, and yeah, mm-hmm. not really important. Okay. What yeah. what if Michael Burnham brings out a knife and says, "May they knife chip and shatter right before she fights somebody?" God, yeah. Is she the more deep? Is she the at least? She the might be. Yeah. <laughs> she might be. <laughs> All right. Th- thanks for being on, Jasmine. All right. Thank you. Bye. All right. Bye. All right. Wow. Yeah. Hey, have you guys been watching Fallout, the new Amazon show? I have not. Okay. No, I have not. I have two episodes of it. There is a Star Trek connection to it. One oh, of the yeah? lead actresses, uh, um, I forget the character's name, but she is the voice of Gwyn on um, Prodigy. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, so there cool. is a Star Trek connection to it. Um, I, I had know. mentioned, uh, sorry, go ahead. I was just going to say, I, I don't know anything about the games, but it's I an okay either. show so far. I'll check it out. Yeah. Well, that's kind of in the spirit of what I was, you know, a few weeks ago, I'd recommended maybe we could do recommendations at the end of the show. And yeah. I have a recommendation if anybody wants to hear it. Um, What's that? Two of them, actually. Uh, I've been watching the show for all mankind. It's oh, on yeah. Apple plus the basic, it's got four seasons out right now. The basic premise is uh, season one starts with the premise is what would have, what would the planet had been like had Russia landed on the moon first. Mm-hmm. And it, it it postulates that it would have begun a space race that dwarfed the space race that we saw in reality. Uh, and it jumps ahead about eight to 10 years each season. So you can see the progression, you know, first they go to the moon and it's a big deal. And then there's, you know, there's a space station on the moon and then, and then uh, they go to Mars, you know, and, and stuff like that. So it's really good. Mm-hmm. The other recommendation I have is on a whim, I watched, uh, you're familiar with the Ted movies, Seth MacFarlane's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I watched Ted one a, a, you know, a couple of months ago and thought it was, you know, funny, you know, raunchy yeah. comedy. I saw Ted two yesterday just on a whim, yeah. and 
it's got a ton of Star Trek references. So oh, wow. is a huge Star Trek fan. Uh, in the middle of the movie, Nana Visitor shows up. <laughs> Oh wow! For, for like a two minute scene, and it's like wait, I, I'm gonna go see her tomorrow. Oh, that's um, awesome! Yeah, it's it's great. Uh, Michael Dorn's in it. It's oh wow! It's, it's fantastic. That's great. <laughs> so if you're I've if you're into the like show, the Ron show is supposed to be amazing. Yeah, like, it's supposed to be really yeah. funny. And I've seen uh, clips so, on TikTok, but I haven't watched yeah, the whole thing. Yet. I haven't yeah. watched it either. I think I'm gonna watch it now that uh, yeah. that uh, I've seen Ted One and Ted Two. But yeah, there's a ton. It part of it takes place at a Comic Con. Okay. So you know, um, <laughs> the, uh, the 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 D uh, is there and okay. um, yeah, and uh, has it's a a kind of a, I know that part. It, it, yep, it, it has a kind of a prominent role. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I was uh, and Michael Dorn. I'm not gonna spoil it, but. Uh, uh, Michael Dorn is there in all of his Michael Dorn glory. So awesome. <laughs> it's awesome. amazing how he shows up. <laughs> That's great. Uh, Dan, anything you want to recommend? Uh, I haven't seen it yet, but uh, I'm trying to go see Civil War. Yeah, weekend. I'm planning to go see it today, I, too. I heard it got some pretty good reviews. Yeah. I'm pleasantly uh, not surprised. I was hoping that they would do this. The yeah. The catalyst for the Civil War, uh, they don't really give specifics mm -hmm. in the movie. They keep it apolitical as to not alienate half the people Wonderful. in our country. Yeah. So that's good. I kind of knew they were going to, or I kind of suspected they were going to do that based on the alliance of California and Texas. Right, which right. Which does, doesn't make any sense in contemporary no. politics. No. Um, so, yeah. Um, I asked my wife if she wants to see it. She kind of doesn't. Yeah. So, um, I don't know if it's something I want to bring my son to. So yeah. my choices I, are, I'm going to call my dad and see if he wants to go see it. And then right. there you go. Just, if he's not available, I may just go see it myself. There you Nothing go. wrong with that. I yeah. go all the time by myself. It's fine. Um, I've heard it is not what you think it is. It's not mm -hmm. really about the war. It's more about war journalists and what they mm -hmm. go through. Okay. So, yeah. I've heard right. that it had been mismarketed in that respect. So all the all the more reason my son will probably be bored if I yeah <laughs> yeah bring him to it. It may not be well, as violent as I expected, but he'll probably be. And well, and it's an eight twenty four film. This, Those guys tend to be not kid there's appropriate. A, yeah, there's a dog. There's a oh. dog running by. Welcome to Dogcast, everyone. That's right. Bow wow. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, I'm gonna go so, check well, out. All right. I have to get going. Yeah. Uh, uh, That's good. Yeah. Not visitors con uh, panels in about a half hour. And I, okay. I also wanted to say uh, once again to you guys, thank you for uh, having me on as a, as a host and, and oh, let yeah. me uh, fill those shoes. I mean, I, I was able to get a press pass for, yeah. for this comic con. I've been here for three days. Nice. Um, so it's, it's been awesome. So, you know, thanks for this opportunity too. Yeah. So of course, of course, buddy, cool. we're happy. We're happy to have you. Absolutely. Thank you. All right, everyone. We'll be back next week. This is Captain Benjamin Sisko of Deep Space Nine and Space God to the Bajorans. I have a mission for you. This falls outside of Starfleet guidelines. So I can't order you, but I'm asking for volunteers. Volunteers who will subscribe to the TrekCast YouTube channel, leave five-star reviews on your podcast app of choice, and share TrekCast across your social media accounts. If we can make our audience bigger, we might have a chance against the Dominion. Are you ready? Subscribe, like, and share. Are you with me?